Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, angle uh, bisector CD as you can see in this uh, diagram. In other words, uh, this uh, angle bisector CD divides this angle uh, ACB into two equal parts, this part uh, and uh, this part. And moreover, uh, this side length uh, AC is uh, two units. This segment uh, AD length uh, is one unit. And finally, this uh, BD length uh, is uh, X. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X. In other words, uh, we are going to find uh, this length uh, BD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We are going to solve this given problem by using the simple uh, trigonometry. And now since we are dealing with these uh, two congruent uh, angles, so therefore, I'm going to label uh, this uh, angle uh, ACD as our angle uh, theta. And likewise, this angle uh, BCD is going to become uh, angle theta as well. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, DAC. And now let's recall the trigonometric ratio tangent of theta equal to opposite divided by adjacent. So therefore, for this uh, triangle DAC, this uh, AD side is uh, our uh, opposite uh, side and this uh, AC is uh, our adjacent. So therefore our tangent of uh, theta value turns out to be 1 uh, divided by 2 since uh, 1 uh, is our opposite side uh, and 2 is our adjacent side. And here's our next step. Now let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, BAC. And now let's make an observation. This whole angle uh, ACB is going to be theta plus theta is going to give us uh, 2 times theta. So therefore uh, this whole angle uh, ACB turns out to be 2 theta. And furthermore uh, this whole uh, segment uh, AB is going to be equal to the sum of these two segment lengths AD and BD that means 1 plus X so therefore this side AB length turns out to be X plus 1 and now let's recall once again this trigonometric identity tangent of theta equals to opposite divided by adjacent so therefore for this right triangle BAC this uh, side AB is going to be our opposite and this uh, side AC is going to be our adjacent. So therefore uh, this time our tangent of angle 2 times theta is going to be equal to our opposite side is uh, x plus 1 divided by 2. And I'm going to label uh, this uh, as our equation uh, number 1. And now since we are dealing with this uh, double angle 2 theta. So therefore let's recall uh, this famous uh, trigonometric identity. Tangent of alpha plus beta is going to be equal to tangent of alpha plus tangent of beta divided by 1 minus uh, tangent of alpha times uh, tangent of uh, beta. And now let's assume that alpha is equal to beta and both of them I'm going to call them uh, angle uh, theta. Then this uh, alpha is going to become angle theta and beta is going to become uh, angle theta as well. So therefore we are ended up with the tangent of uh, theta plus uh, theta is going to be equal to tangent of uh, theta plus uh, once again tangent of theta all over 1 minus uh, tangent of uh, theta times uh, 1 tangent theta once again. And now we know theta plus theta is going to give us uh, 2 times theta. And on the right hand side uh, tangent theta plus tangent of theta is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, tangent of uh, theta. And finally at the denominator tangent theta times tangent theta is going to be tangent uh, square of theta. 
So therefore, on the left hand side, uh, we are ended up with uh, this thing as a tangent of uh, 2 theta. And on the right hand side, uh, this uh, numerator is going to become uh, 2 times uh, tangent of uh, theta. And finally, at the denominator, uh, this whole thing is going to become 1 minus tangent square of theta. And now we know that our tangent theta is equal to 1 divided by 2. So therefore, on the right hand side of this uh, equation, I am going to substitute this uh, tangent of theta by 1 divided by 2 and likewise this uh, tangent of theta 1 divided by 2 as well. So therefore, the right hand side of this equation is going to become 2 times uh, 1 divided by 2 divided by 1 minus uh, this uh, tangent uh, theta is uh, 1 divided by 2 whole uh, square. And now we know 2 times 1 divided by 2 is simply 1 at the numerator. And this part uh, at the denominator is going to give us uh, 1 divided by 4. So therefore this is going to become uh, 1 divided by 1 minus uh, 1 divided by 4. And we know that 1 minus uh, 1 divided by 4 is same as uh, 3 divided by 4. So therefore this is going to give us uh, 1 divided by 3 divided by 4. And if we flip this uh, fraction that is going to give us uh, 4 uh, divided by 3. So therefore our tangent of uh, 2 theta is going to be equal to 4 divided by 3. And now let's focus on this uh, equation 1. We got on the left hand side uh, tangent of 2 theta and we figured out our tangent of 2 theta value as 4 divided by 3. So therefore I am going to substitute it over here. So therefore the left hand side is going to become 4 divided by 3 equals to x plus 1 divided by 2. And now we are going to cross uh, multiply. So therefore if we multiply 3 times uh, x plus 1 that is going to give us uh, 3x uh, plus 3 is going to be equal to and if we multiply 4 times 2 is going to give us 8 on the right hand side. And now we are going to subtract uh, 3 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore uh, 3 times x uh, turns out to be equal to 5 on the right hand side. And now we are going to divide both sides by 3 to isolate x. Here we can see 3 and 3 is uh, gone. So therefore uh, our x value turns out to be 5 divided by 3 units. So thus our x value turns out to be 5 divided by 3 units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.